Hey guys, this is Fluxar. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick tutorial video on how to create a rotating character so you can showcase your clothing or outfit. Uh, one of the first things you want to make sure you have is a two-handed melee weapon or gun and that way your arms aren't changing position each time you rotate which ends up making a weird uh, gif in the end. Also, if your character doesn't appear right away, you'll have to go into the server that he's on and then come back to the main menu and then you should see him. Okay, now for some settings to change, you'll want to go to video. I changed my rendering resolution to 200%. Go into rendering, change post-processing quality to very high. Same with ambient occlusion. I give you some nice shadows and I turn all these up to very high except clouds. And you also want to go to user interface and change the size to normal. Uh, if you didn't start at very small, you can change it to very large and it'll have the same effect of taking away these, the top and bottom black bars. Uh, if you started at very large for some reason, you're going to want to restart the game at normal or very small so you can take away the black bars. But once you do that, you're getting ready to start so you'll want to find a position that you'll remember uh, so I usually just have like kind of his eyes perpendicular to the like front camera and then you start taking screenshots with F12 each screenshot you should probably take your mouse away if you hold it over you'll get this text and that will appear in the screenshot which you don't want and you'll just want to try and move him the same amount each time so it's smooth in the final GIF. Uh, obviously the more uh, or the smaller the amount of rotation the more frames you'll have in the end. Okay, now once you're coming up to the end, you'll want to make sure you over-rotate a little bit. Uh, you can always cut out frames in Photoshop later. You can't really add them, so if you go too short, you'll be out of luck. And that should be good. I went a little bit past. And now all you need to do is you'll probably want to change your user interface back to what you normally play at and then you can quit DayZ and your screenshot uploader should pop up once you quit and we'll go to that. And once you exit DayZ this screenshot uploader should appear. Uh, if it doesn't you can always just go to your Steam library click DayZ and view screenshot library. And then we'll just want to click show on disk and find the start of your rotations. Shift click on the last one. We'll just go to our desktop and make a new folder uh, called Gilly Outfit. And we'll just drag all of these into here. I guess I took 139. Uh, having less than that is perfectly fine. Then we'll just click on Photoshop. And we'll want to do file, scripts, load files into stack, change use to folder, browse, just go to your desktop and find Gilly Outfit or whatever you named your folder. It'll take a second to load in the images. Looks good. 
Uh, then we'll just click OK. You'll also, your window will probably have started in Essentials, which is default. You'll want to change it to Motion. And we'll just wait as all these JPEGs load in. Okay, and once all your JPEGs have loaded in, you want to come down to here. It's defaulted, I think, to create video timeline. You'll just click this drop down menu and click create frame animation and click this again. You'll just want to crop them. Uh, I usually like cropping out the daisy menu and letters. And you can just try and center your guy a little bit and click enter or the check mark above. Okay, once it's done cropping, you want to come down here and click Make Frames from Layers. And this will take each of your screenshots and make it into a new frame. And now I can play this, and as you can see, it's basically our final GIF. Uh, one thing to add is you can also reverse the frame so it's in the same order you took the screenshots. This is also just kind of a personal preference. And then before actually finishing your GIF, you're going to want to make sure it loops correctly. I'll just click forever down here. As you can see, our last frame goes over the first frame. So you just kind of look at this one and then go to your end frames and try and find one that's right before it. So I think we could try it with 133 as our last frame. Uh, just delete them. And it looks like that wasn't far enough. Maybe 131. It looks like it's basically the same frame, so we can just cut out the last one and we should have a pretty good loop. Well, let's watch it through once to make sure. There's a light change at the end, but that should be fine. And now you're basically done. Um, you could just leave it as this, or if you want to add some text. Um, you could just stick it in the middle, make sure you put it at the very top, we'll select the first layer. Uh, you can make it uh, right from the middle, not from left to right. And that way we can use this guideline to make sure we get it centered. Uh, and we can just write Gilly Suit. Make this a bigger text. And we'll make it green. That should be good. And maybe move it down a bit with shift and drag so it stays on the guideline. And then we can make the blending to overlay. And do an outer glow of black should be good. And we might actually want to change this to uh, lighten, not this. Blending option to lighten. And that's a pretty nice way to add text. It will kind of have a cool overlay effect so you can still see some of the background. Um, you can also add a 
kind of big vignette. So it has some color on the outsides. Uh, you do it a couple ways. You could drag an elliptical marque tool around them and hope you get it centered. Feather the edge. And paint it black. Then we can bring this opacity down quite a bit. That kind of gives it a nice little outer border. Uh, yeah, then you can just mess around with other effects and get something you like. Uh, once you do that, you just go up to File, Save for Web. We can check it once by running through. And you'll want to make sure this is on adaptive diffusion, 256 colors, 100% dither, 0% web snappy, and 0 lossy for the best settings. And you can mess around with your image size if you have a specific one in mind. I'll just keep it as this so there's set the maximum that it can be. Then save. Uh, we'll title it Killy Suit. Save it to our desktop. And then if you want to edit this later, you're going to have to save it as a .psd file. If you want to change the text, or else it will just uh, rasterize all these layers on top of each other. So I'll save it really quick. I already had a file on my desktop that was a .psd, so it's just saving on top of that. Well, let's Exit out of Photoshop. Here's our new file. And then you can either upload it to Imgur or Jiffy Cat. Uh, I think most people prefer Imgur. You can also just watch it in your browser if you just drag it up to the tab. Uh, but first, we'll start get it going on Imgur. So just drag it on. It'll take a little bit of time because it has to compress it to make a GIF V file. And as you can see this is our final GIF. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you guys later.